friends i am tulsaram rakal welcome to my channel in this video we are going to learn about the basic structure of c the format or way according to which a computer program is written is called the structure of the program c is structure program language where all the programs are written in well managed format there are different structures which are included in programs and all the basic structures may not be used in all programming language or in all programs of c according to the requirement of program we use the essential structure of c so some part are essential and some part become optional in programs all the basic structure of c also may use in some programs so that is written according to the structure according to the requirement of program the first basic structure of c is documentation section first is documentation section the documentation section consists of a set of comment lines given be giving the name of any program the author details or which the programmer would like to add and the documentation section is ignored by the compiler when we start to write the program we use comment part so it is categorized in two parts one is single line comment single line comment and second is multi line comment to comment a single line we use double forward slash and we write the text it is only used for single line comment and multi line comment it is start with forward slash with asterisk sign and we write how many lines we have to write we write the text and we enclose by asterisk with forward slash sign and this is used for multi line comment so documentation is categorized in two parts single line comment double forward slash and we write the text here and multi line comment we use forward slash with asterisk and in write the text and after that we end with asterisk with forward slash now second is link section second is link section this link section is used to use header files header files are sync with library files where predefined functions are stored when we use the predefined functions in our program we have to include the header files and the most common use header file in c program is s include stdio.s this stdio.s is used for input and output for math functions we use the header file math.s for graphics we have to use graphic.s and this link section is used to use for the header file that are included in c program third one is third one is definition definition section this definition section is used to define all the symbolic constant macros are known as symbolic constant for example as define 
mean 20. Whenever we use mean in the program, we can use the value 20 in that program. Or mean is used 20 instead of mean. So this is known as definition section. Now the next is global declaration. Global declaration are declared outside or before the main functions. When we declare the variable globally, it means that we can use that variable in all functions, all functions in that program. They are globally accessed within the program. And next is main function. This main function starts with curly braces and in with curly braces. It is also divided into two parts. Declaration part, declaration part and executable part. All the variables are declared in declaration part. The variables are using executable part. And the declaration or declare these variables are declared in declaration part with their data types that are using executable part. C program should have at least or C program must have one main functions. And the program always start with the curly braces. It should be terminated or the declaration part and the executable part are terminated with semicolons. The main function executes user defined program statements. And there may be only one executable part or there may be more than one executable part. So the main function or the executable part executes the statement and that are enclosed within the curly braces. The next one is sub program sub program section or sub program section in this section user defined the function that's why it is a, the section is also called user defined function if the program is multi function program then the sub programs are written or sub programs functions contains all the user defined functions that are called all the functions are called in main functions there may be function more functions function 1 function 2 function 3 or function n all these functions are called in main function we need 6 basic structures of C. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe and share among the friends. Thank you.